All right, we're going to go to the first clip in your beautiful documentary movie to show them a little bit of what we're talking about, how God created and designed this world. And we're actually going to take a step back that God placed our Earth in just the right spot in space, in our galaxy. And folks, you won't believe this, watch. Earth has been hung in precisely the right location to receive all the elements that are essential for life. Even though the stars in our galaxy are as numerous as the grains of sand on this beach, namely about 100 billion, many astronomers are now convinced that it's extremely unlikely that there could be another habitable planet anywhere among them. Even if the just right planetary system were to form from the just right elements of dead stars, there is another critical factor to consider. The life support planet must be positioned at the just right location within the galaxy. Near the center of our galaxy, conditions are too congested. With billions of stars in a relatively small volume, gravitational tug of wars make the survival of life-supportable planets impossible. And the radiation there is intense, far too intense for life. Toward the outer edges of our galaxy, the stellar population becomes too sparse for planet building. The heavy elements generated by supernovae and white dwarf binaries are too few and far between. Not enough building material to make planets. At almost any distance from our galactic center, conditions within the spiral arms prevent planet formation. Amazingly, our particular solar system resides at the perfect location in between spiral arms, neither too close to the center nor too close to the outer edge. Our just right location not only permits our existence, but it also allows us to see and explore our region of space. No wall of high rises, no big dust clouds block our view. To me, Hugh, that's just amazing. Somehow that gripped me. And also in reading some of your texts, the books that you have written, I've realized that that little place where Earth has been placed in space, in our galaxy, also gives us a window back that's clear that we can see all the way back to the beginning so you astronomers can actually track the events. And that window in which we can track all of these events is very, very small and we're in it right now. We are. Talk about that, why? Okay, well, in order to get the elements we need for human beings and civilization to be possible, our star must form close to the center of the galaxy where there's loads of heavy elements. Then it must get radically kicked out to a safe spot where life can exist. And so we're currently in that safe zone where we don't get beat up by nearby stars and gas clouds or radiation. But that safe spot is also the best possible location in the universe for us astronomers to observe not only our galaxy, but all the other galaxies in the universe and actually have the capacity to see all the way back to the beginning of time itself and therein discover that compelling evidence that there must be a creator beyond space and time that did all this for us. Place us back into Genesis 1. We actually jump back into Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 going toward verse 2 where God actually placed Earth. Well it begins with God creating the universe. And before we get to verse 2, God very carefully designed the universe and the formation of the solar system within that universe so that verse 2 is even possible. And then in verse 2, we get the stage set for God to create life here on planet Earth. 